guys, my name is the Russian Badger, and I, I really don't know what happened. I believe it was some kind of physical phenomenon where I hit him in the upper chest or lower neck, and he went flying through the air like some kind of dolphin or perhaps Superman. But whatever he did, I definitely think that, that performance qualifies him for, for Cirque du Soleil, undoubtedly. So definitely a future career path for that gentleman, but... Didn't exactly look like he stuck the landing. I don't know if you guys saw that, but... And although the view was kind of obstructed, he went he went just twirling through the air. And this beginning, this beginning section of the gameplay is going to be a little bit stagnant, but it picks up severely about around the midway point, midway to the end point, I believe. And that's fairly perfect for me because there's a lot of things that I want to discuss in this first half. That is irrelevant, or not irrelevant, but not exactly associated with the gameplay. And number one, this was requested by 80s and Music that I play some squad team deathmatch. And I just wanted to see how you guys enjoy this compared to uh, Rush gameplay. And then the UMP45 with Magnum Ammo was requested by Paintful Governor, who is a German that definitely wanted me to use a German rifle or a German submachine gun. And I know, I know it's made by Heckler and Koch, but after all my years of German schooling, I feel like that's pronounced incorrectly. I mean, I'm sure the Germans will know, but I, I feel as if Heckler and Koch, it, it should be pronounced Heckler und Koch, like Heckler und Koch, because I, I feel like that O C H, that's that's it's not like it's not a Koch, it's you know, you know that like Doch, Hoch, like I feel as if Heckler and Koch. It's mispronouncing it, but I, I really don't know the background on whether those gun manufacturers are German or not. But I'm sure the Germans will know how they correctly pronounce this gun manufacturer that makes the UMP-45. But that's really beside the point. And the one thing that I want to tell you, other than my whole setup and the fact that I'm, the fact that I'm playing squad team deathmatch, is this morning I had the most asinine experience. But I don't think I've ever laughed this maniacally before in my entire life, or at least while playing video games. Okay, so there was a guy that, and you guys know, I randomly just accept any friend request if the guy plays Bad Coming 2. Basically, that's it on PlayStation Network. So, he joined my game, and this wasn't the game, obviously, but he joined my game, and he he kept telling me how much he likes it when I get multiple kills or combos. He always called them combos, like double kills, triple kills. And then he, he said this line that I will probably never forget. It was the most hilarious thing that I heard all day. He literally said, The Russian Badger never dies. He only suffers combo breakers. And I don't know if you guys ever played Killer Instinct, but I played Killer Instinct. And if you guys don't know what a combo breaker is, you're really missing out. So what he would do is... Anytime that he would see me die in the kill feed, he would just go, K -k -k combo breaker. And it's like, oh man. And if I died two straight times, he would go with this double combo breaker. It was just, K -k combo, K -k -k combo breaker. Oh, it was just that, just that line made me laugh so maniacally. It was like, the Russian badger never dies. He only suffers combo breakers. And I don't think I'm ever going to look at dying as a death ever again. I'm just going to look at it as a combo breaker. Because it's just a break in some of the the multi-kills that I get. And that, that sounds a little bit boastful. And that's by no means trying to sound boastful or egotistical. You guys know that I don't like bragging about any of my abilities. That's something that I really dislike. I like having a lot of humility and being very humble. But really, if you think about the combos and, and how a death is really just a break in the combos, just c -c combo breaker. Oh, it, it just made me laugh. It just made me laugh so, so much this morning. I found it. Es war so lustig. I, I, ich lachte mich tot. It, it was so funny. It's, it's for some reason. And there's a prime example of a combo right there or combination if you like to use the elongated term, the elongated form of the term. And here, I believe it's the first one. I believe it's the first one. And you know what? JDoz is gonna hate me for this, but I fail on the on the Wesley Snipes here. I go for the Wesley Snipes, but I, I was not expecting him to be there. So, cook a combo breaker, if you like to say that. And I know that's gonna get so annoying after a while, so I'm gonna try to keep that to a minimum. But believe it or not, I'm gonna get a revenge kill here in the in the best way possible. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. 
And what I mean specifically is Wesley snipes. Oh man. I you know what I feel like? Although I couldn't see the grenade throughout its entire flight time, I feel like it was just rolling to the back of that entire room and then some guy just I just picture it landing directly at his feet and just blowing oh man. It's it's majestic if you ask me. Now, some other things that I want to identify that are specific there you go again with the with the tongue twisters sp saying specifically. Okay, well specifically, the UMP45 is an excellent choice not only because it was recommended, obviously, and as you can see here, the gameplay is picking up a little bit more, and this is also serving as a bit of a pilot to see how you guys like the squad uh, team deathmatch. And Nelson Bay is not a perfect example, but it's a fairly intense map, especially around this region with these two these two main buildings here. But the UMP, I mean, I'm not only using it because it was requested, but it's also a great choice because, number one, it's fairly quiet. It's not oozy quiet, but it's definitely suppressed. It, get, it gets rid of a lot of your muzzle flash, I believe all of your muzzle flash, and the sound is greatly reduced. And that's, that's a huge advantage because I know I have a fairly expensive set of headsets or headset. It's not, it's not plural. Believe me, it's not plural. It's singular. So I have an expensive headset, the... Asteroid, I have a set of Asteroid 40s, which I love quite dearly. And I know, when I'm playing Squad Team Deathmatch, I go for muzzle flashes, and I can tell exactly where the sound is coming from. So that's the area, or that's the region that I always go towards. Because you know what? I know where the catfish are going to be. They're going to be the guys that are firing those LMGs. And I know exactly where it is, because there's large muzzle flashes, and there's lots of sound. So you want to find the catfish? Just listen for sounds. And that might be... A little bit more difficult for those of you that don't have headsets but still even on a map like this it's so critical because there's such low visibility for example if you're playing Isla Anocentes or perhaps some other map with really really high visibility like Arica Harbor it's not as necessary to rely on the sounds so much but it also might be one of it also might want to be identified that Muzzle flashes are going to be a lot more distinct in, in relative darkness compared to daylight, so that's that's another feature that you want to, might want to mention. And of course, cook a combo breaker with the M2 Carl Gustav. But you know what? I can't complain because obviously I'm using the Carl Gustav, but it doesn't always seem like even a smart decision or an intelligent decision at all to use any other rocket launcher in this game type, because obviously. Okay, there's, there's one vehicle, there's one tank, but even so, that's still 12 other guys on the map all going against one tank, and that's, I mean, I don't find it much of a threat, and I really think a Carl Gustav is all that you need. I think an RPG is not necessarily the best choice because you want to focus your attention on the infantry, and obviously the greatest way to dispose of infantry when it comes to rockets is quite obviously the M2 Carl Gustav. Or... You guys also have, I always, I read all the comments, I think you guys know that, but you guys have some funny names for the combinations, like I remember one guy called it, if you're using the Scar and a Carl Gustav, he called it the Scarl Gustav, and it's, some, you know what, some of the, some of the nicknames and some of the little things that you guys post in the comments are quite remarkable, if I, if I might say so myself, and just some of the, some, ba Blatantly, some of the comments you post, I just laugh. I laugh out loud. And I'm not going to say I lol because that sounds weird. I never really understood when people said that. You know, like, I lol at comments. I never understood that whole speak where, you know, like, raffle and lamau and lol and I did it for tellols. I don't know what that means. It's like, whenever you say tellols, that's just m misspelling the and you're putting a U in lol. Um, this doesn't make sense, but moral of the story, I really enjoy some of the comments that you guys post and the feedback that you give. And I like that it's it's fairly honest most of the time, so I greatly appreciate that. I know this has been a little bit off topic, but I feel like the, there's not a whole bunch of strategy for me when it comes to team deathmatch. It's basically, you stay around the perimeter, you want to navigate correctly and always keep your back to the to the artillery zones or the outside of the maps and you want to know where the high traffic areas are so that you can get the maximum amount of kills in the shortest amount of time and these two two-story buildings or these shacks or sheds whatever you'd like to call them are very high traffic areas and you're gonna get a lot of kills if you stay here so that's basically my two cents I know it's not completely focused on 
the gameplay, but I, I know a lot of you know how to play Team Deathmatch, and it's a lot more it's a lot more straightforward in my personal opinion compared to Rush, because Rush you have to take certain routes and there's there's other stipulations. But I think that's about the end of it, and I wanna thank you guys for watching. Ich bin Sofro. Ich bin Sofro. I'm so happy that you're watching this video. Okay, so with that being said, there's my final score. The the two c -c 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 combo break combo breakers. With that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Auf Wiedersehen. Und bis bald. Und tschüss. I might want to redo that one. I didn't even I didn't pronounce the umlaut enough on the, on tschüss. How about, okay, tschüss. That was not any better, but see ya. <laughs>